As of uh, this is GF Legends, welcome coming at you with another Destiny's video. In today's video, we're going to see where Sir is located. But before we get started, I do want to say thank you guys for the massive support you have shown on the channel. Also, would like to remind you guys, if you haven't subscribed already and you find these videos helpful, make sure you guys hit that sub. And if you are a sub, make sure you guys turn on your notifications so you guys can know exactly when we go live and you help with raids or with trials. But let's see what Sir brought this time around over here at the Wraith. So what is Zer up to this time around? It was almost Friday the 13th, but not really. But let's see what he brought. So we have a Legacy Ingram. And uh, of course, you guys know Legacy Ingrams are our old stuff. We have the ACD Feedback Fences. These come with a strength of 92. We have the Bones of AO, Intellect 71, Discipline 71, so 4871 build. And we heart, have the Heart of Praxy Fire with an 85, 82 intellect and discipline, almost tier 12 at a 96%. This one also as well, almost, almost inching at that tier 12 build. And for the weapon, we have the Heart Light. So what do I recommend out of all these three? And if you have all these three classes, which one would be the one that's more beneficial? So... As far as for the Titan class, I would skip this one unless you're a collectionist. These are one of the best looking Sonics, but unfortunately, not the best ones to have equipped. Bones of Year are still by far the best boots you could get for your Hunter. Still available with the Frosties, but still, I would prefer these over anything. Not only good for PvP, but also PvE. Heart of Praxia Fire is still a very good chess piece, but not my personal favorite when it comes to a Warlock Exotic. But it's still a very, very good exotic to have nonetheless. If you guys haven't had a chance to play, try out the hard light, definitely would recommend it to you guys. It is one of my favorite auto rifles, and it's actually really, really good in PvP if you know how to use it. Not like a top tier one, but still a very decent weapon and fun one to have and ricochet those bullets off the ground. As far as weapon bundles, we have the last word with the ornament, uh, with the blue ornament, and then we have the red death with the white and witch ornament which gives you that white looking one this one comes with the addendum uh ornament as well don't forget to pick up some heavy you guys are still doing some raids you're going to want to have enough heavy just to combat uh you know kind of restock on the heavy we're going to be having wrath of the machine up next and of course heavy's going to be very predominant and needed on that as well don't forget to pick up your three of coins if you want guys to get pick up more exotic if you guys are new to the game or just are missing quite some exotics pick up those three coins if you're trying to get those tier 12 items make sure you guys go ahead and acquire some glass needles glass needles are going to be very beneficial uh, to hitting that tier 12 i you know i ran through a lot trying to get that tier 12 built and that's what sir has this time around i want to know from you guys what do you guys think do you guys like what he brought? Do you guys not like what he brought? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget, guys, we are giving away five free copies of Destiny 2. So if you want to find out how to, do, uh, how to enter that giveaway, make sure you guys click on the link below. And don't forget, for all things Destiny, make sure you keep it locked on this channel. And I will catch you guys on the next video.